Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Now in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a scary monster and I'm going to be giving a full detailed explanation on how you guys can actually do that and actually make how how to make the most realistic looking monster. You have to be using Blender, alright guys, but trust me guys, it's very easy. I'll show you guys how to do it and how to rig it um, and get some animations for it and etc. Alright guys, and actually get it to work and move around and kill you and all that. I'll be real, I don't make my own models completely from scratch because that takes way too long. I typically use this 3D male base model um, to make my monsters, alright guys, and then I just change it up and make it um, scary. So I'll show you guys how to do it. So I'll link this in the description. All you gotta do is download it and download this .obj file or whatever. So make sure you have Blender installed. Alright, all of this is required. You have to do all this, guys. You guys can go over to my asset store. I'll probably sell it here. If you guys can't figure out how to get this to work or you just can't be stopped making the whole thing by yourself, you go ahead and get it on the, the asset store, right, guys? Um, it will be linked in the description um, somewhere, hopefully. But uh, yeah, so you want to go to Blender. First things first, you press the scroll button down and you just move around, as you guys can see. And you can scroll in and out. And then if you want to move, you hold shift and press scroll and drag. Alright, all right. if you hold control and then move it forward, you can do that. Alt is to do that, alright, cool, whatever. You guys get the idea. Now what we're going to do is straight away press X and delete it, cool. Um, now what we're going to do is go click on File, File, Import, and then we get an OBJ. And there you go, I found it, as you guys can see, and boom. So we have this human, as you guys could. oh. Now I will not go be going over texturing in this episode because we're gonna make a simple like dark entity you can go ahead and literally do whatever you want so you're gonna go to click on sculpting all right so what i like to do guys is i like to drag this outwards so i can see what each of these tools are so draw obviously it's self-explanatory you <laughs> draw some stuff on it so you gotta click on x and then boom you can and it'll do that do it and it'll affect both sides as you guys see <laughs> <gasps> what the hell? Alright, let's do this properly though. Okay. If you hold control and click and draw, then it goes inwards, alright guys. A very important tool is the grab tool here, alright guys. And also to change the size of the brush, press F, then move your mouse right or left to change however how big you want it to be. Let's say you want to move a big part of the body. Like <laughs> there you go. Um yeah, you get the idea. So now all that's left is to just use your creativity and do some stuff. So I might just speed this up and um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I'm done making my entity, I guess. Damn, I just, I just made a star, what the heck? <laughs> this is star guy right here, star man. Alright guys, also one quick detail, if you want to smoothen stuff out, like if you see some lines like this, um, you, if you hold shift and click over, over it, as you can see it's now smooth and it, <laughs> there you go, it just, yeah, it smooth, it smoothens everything out, basically, so hold shift and click on whatever you want, and boom, see? And this is something, a cool thing you guys can use those snake hook, as you can see, just to make a pokey thing, you know what I mean? Alright guys, I have no idea what I made, but... <laughs> This looks pretty scary, right guys? I don't know, I don't know what this is. But yeah, let's just say this is like the finished product. You guys can click on this, then go ahead and click on statistics. And if you want to make sure that the triangles are less than, I think 15,000, I don't know, but it should be this high. So what you're gonna do is click on modifiers, add, click on that icon, click on modifier, add, and then decimate. So I'll, I'll search it up if you can't find it. And all you gotta do is lower this to like, until, as you guys can see, until it goes lower than 20. But don't make it too low, otherwise it's gonna look kind of weird. Okay, that <laughs> that looks so weird. Actually, I'm gonna add some final details, alright guys. I know, as you can see, I just did the final touches. I don't know why, but okay, cool. And you want to decimate it, so yeah. Uh, make sure it's like less than that. So I think 10k. I think that's fine. I think I don't know. So now what it is click on the arrow, click on apply. Then you right click and click shade smooth. All right. Uh, so what we're gonna do is. Go ahead and scale it down. Now, of course, if you guys have no clue on how to make a monster 3D model, literally, all that's the way you can search up and see what comes up, and um, you can just 
that's copy what I do. Well, download one of these ones, that's copy what I do. Alright, so now uh, what you do with your mesh is go ahead and make it smaller, alright guys? Because if it's big, then I don't know why, but it just slides around and stuff when it moves. So make sure it's like pretty small, like that, I think it's fine. Yeah, that's good. So now all you want to do, oh, maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit bigger, like that. Oh, so what I want to do is go ahead and click on this. You need to file, and then you want to do exports. And you're gonna export as an FBX. Uh, so you're gonna save it wherever I'm just gonna continue forward up is rename this to spike head.fbx. Then uh what you're gonna do is um yeah you're gonna change this from auto to copy and click on this, make sure it's blue, do limit to selected objects and turn all that off and just only click on mesh. You wanna uh, you wanna get rid of this. Alright, and um yeah that should be fine. That's it. Alright guys, so now you can click on export to export FPX. The next thing we need to do is go over to mixamo.com. Alright guys, so now you want to go over to mixamo.com. Right, then you want to go ahead and click on upload character. And you want to go, it is how you rig your character by the way, and get the animations. They have like an automatic rigger. So what you want to do is find where you saved it. Okay, then there you go, open it up. And hopefully, if it works, then you can... <laughs> rig it as you guys can see boom now we can go ahead and rig it however we like so we're gonna click on next and now what we have to do is move the chin to its chin obviously and go into the wrist put it over there onto the wrist click on the elbows i think it's okay there and then the knees is here and the grind put it around here all right guys and that should be it now click on next and boom as you guys see it worked there you go it's rigged. So now all you gotta do is click on next and you don't even have to do any of the hard stuff and manually rig it on Blender which will take, take like forever. Now all we gotta do is find like a running animation or something. And you click on in place so it runs in <laughs> <laughs> Yeah or no. But anyway so um, what you can do is go ahead and browse until you find the animation that you like. Alright guys so I'm just gonna use this animation for the demonstration. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of goofy, but like, there's no other uh, animation I can use. Just what you guys can do is change up these settings, however you like. So we'll do the walk speed like that, short, overdrive. <laughs> but, all right, cool. Character arm space. What if we do like? That? All right, cool. So let's go ahead and click on download. So now we're gonna do is um, do you can just change the 60, 60 FPS so it looks more smooth. And um, yeah, you wanna keep that on with skin and. FPX. Click on download and just put it to wherever you want to download it. Now it's we're on Roblox Studio. So you want to go up here and you want to click on import 3D. All you gotta do is insert the walk. All right, guys. The animation that you just downloaded, the FPX file from that, not the not the original one, the um animation. Okay, because that's rigged and everything. And boom. All right, cool. That's all we gotta do. And uh, yep, that's good. I don't want to upload to Roblox. So click that off, and we can import it. <laughs> what? Animation. I've got no idea. I'm just gonna click on import. I'll rename that to animation. Maybe it's gonna work now. Please. Oh, okay. That actually worked. So I, I renamed the, the animation thing and now it works. Okay, why does it look like this? It's starting to look like this. That's really weird. I don't know why that happened. But, anyways, as you guys can see, we have now imported the monster. I'll show you what you have to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and delete the animation controller. And let me get like a. Um, let me get my, let me get like a rig, compare the size to it. <laughs> this is so lanky. Alright, so we'll make it a little bit bigger like that. Alright guys, so now you need to insert the entity template which is linked in the description. Alright guys, you guys can find it there. This is the whole system and literally I'm giving away my system for my game called The Dark Rooms. Alright guys, you guys go go play this game, link in the description. It's literally, one of, it's literally the best horror game on Roblox. Alright, take my word for it, go try it. I'm never joking, alright guys. Please get the template, you want to go put it inside the monster and literally just ungroup it. You want to position the human root part to like the middle. And resize it like properly. So oh, okay, resize it properly just like that. I'm holding control and scaling it by the way. Okay, I think that's fine. Cool. So now we just make it transparent. There you go. And yeah, done. And now we're gonna. Oh wait, we don't even need this. We can delete that. Now there's a lot more to this kit that you need, but I may go over, over that in future parts. So we can now we can really design it however we like. You know, the theme with my game is that most entities are like 
dark so what we're gonna do is make him black um so yeah you can literally change the color like that because there's no texture on it right now if you guys want a tutorial on how to make really detailed realistic textures let me know down in the comments below like foil and boom okay that's horrible i don't know what i made but this is cool guys don't you agree <laughs> like this is somewhat cool well obviously in this game there's they don't have this simple path thing which I'll, I'll probably link into the kit as well so don't worry about it guys so we're gonna put this inside a replicated storage and also you want to make sure that the character is the character is off so now the, now it's time for rigging all right guys so what you want to do is um you want to open up rig editor yes yeah, so and obviously get rig editor in the toolbox so you're gonna go to toolbox um then you go to the plugins and you literally get it from your social brig editor and you'll be able to get it. Alright guys, so open it up, click brig editor, then you know click on the entity obviously. And this is the part where you need to pay attention, alright guys. Uh, I made a mistake. This has to face the front obviously, so let's rotate this. Boom, boom. And then these have to rotate and we'll put it position it to his face so it's face facing his face this is basically if you guys are confused on what these camera parts are this is where the camera is going to go like when he jumps kills you right when he gets you and kills you it's going to go here let's say for example and then, now you just want to go ahead and open up rig editor click on him continue then click on the human root part click on the camera part one camera part two you need to do it for the base part as well just because we didn't do it so there you go I guess it has to be in server storage, not replicate storage. Also, another thing that we need is this script, guys, um, which you guys could find link in the description. Or you can literally just go ahead and copy it. Uh, this will probably be included with the kit, by the way, but um, you're just going to go into objects, into the folder, call it loop points. All right, guys. So now, and then we want to insert a part inside of this. So you're going to insert a part inside of this, and it'll literally go to this part. And if you move another one, make sure it's anchored, by the way. And um, transparent, but uh, we'll just keep it on for this demonstration. So anchor both of them. Click on run, and as you guys can see, it's it's going from one point to the other. And yeah, the animation is goofy. I know because that's not the animation. That's not our animation. Hey guys, I'm pretty sure what we have to do is go to game settings. You have to save this to box guys, and um, let's turn that off. Click on save. So now we're going to do is go to the game settings go over to security and you're gonna enable this all right guys you're gonna enable http requests um and that's fine that's all you need save the whole time why this wasn't working was because the primary part was not set to the humor root part for some reason i don't know why but anyways you gotta click on that all right and now it should work See, now it's chasing after us okay now it's faster okay wait, 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 look at this as you guys can see. Yeah! Those are just the base sounds. Alright, guys, I'll show you guys how to change them. Yeah! Maybe like the next yeah! episode. And boom, whatever. So there you go. There's a there's your pathfinding advanced AI NPC. And it works perfectly fine. Um This is part one, I might make a part two. But um for now I'll just show you guys how to do the animation thing. So you can click on animation editor, click on the guy. Then you wanna go and import from FPX animation and you're gonna import the scary clown walk or whatever animation that you guys got. And now what we're gonna do is just save as new. We'll do um, walk, save, and set animation priority. Make sure it's movement and not action. So movement, make sure this is on to looped. Then you wanna click on save again and you just wanna do publish to Roblox. And this is where you just publish it. Um, yeah, cool. Save. And now all we're going to do is copy the the asset ID. You're going to copy the ID and you're going to go put it inside of the animated script in normal. And you want to also put it inside. And you're also going to go put it inside of the chase animation here. Alright, so now click on play. And... Yeah, this should work. Boom. Look at that. Now obviously the footsteps are not timed well. But boom. We did everything and that there's a realistic looking guy in the game and he's chasing after me right now. This is so cool guys. Um it'll be much better with the audio off though. Yeah! 
Yeah! That, that audio is optimized at all. Okay, just kill me. And also, if you guys are noticing one thing off, one thing that's off is that his height is like kind of floating above the part. Now, that, damn. Now that could be easily fixed if we go ahead and just click on Run. Okay. What we're gonna do is click on him. Go to Is He Humanoid? We're gonna scroll down to the Is He Hip Height. And you should reduce it or increase it depending on what your problem is. If it's in the ground, then you want to increase obviously. But he's floating, so you want to do four maybe. And a better way to do this is to make him make his human root part anchored, so he doesn't move, and so you can actually see. Okay, so he's kind of in the ground, which that's not what we want. Okay, point one five. Oh, that's perfect. There you go. So point one five, and then now all we gotta do is copy this. Click on stop, click on him here, and you should paste it um, here, 4.5, there you go. So yeah, there you go, that's how you make a realistic horror monster thing, alright. In the next part, I'll show you guys how to, uh, how this guy can, how you can make a jump scare, and basically all the other stuff, alright, and changing all the sounds and stuff, which should be a piece of cake. If you guys, um, just <laughs> can't be stopped doing all this, and you want to get this straight away, you want to go over to payhip.com slash zdarkalien, link in the description and the pinned comments, and it should be somewhere here, or, um, actually, it'll be, uh, linked, wherever. Yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.